Five kids. Uh, here's the extra stuff in. That's for later. So here's our turkey. It's stuck. We've tied it with the twine. So I've added a little water to it. Now I know what you're thinking. It's probably not the nicest looking job. So there's a, so there's a reason. See, back in the day, 30 years ago when my mother was still alive, we used to go to small butchers. They used to keep all this skin that's missing. Because butchers today have a tendency of cutting out anything that has fat because fat's bad. Not really if you uh, know the proper information actually. Sugar is worse than fat, but that's a long story. There's lots of documentaries on, on YouTube all about that because uh, fat is actually natural, like blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so ideally, if I had more skin, which I don't, I could sew this. I'm not going to because I'm not too fussy. Also, no one's really coming over to really critique it, so <laughs> it's not a big deal. And um, I, I could have... I could have sewed underneath the neck where it's stopped, but I don't because it's okay. Because basically, the way my mother showed me, and I've been doing this for years, ever since she passed, is basically stuff it like this. Uh, you, could, you could you can sew that if you had the skin, but I don't have the skin, so I, I can't. There's nothing to sew. Is that you add a little water? We're gonna bake. We're gonna start baking this. Let's see. What do I got the oven at? I, it looks around 350. Maybe I'll pump it up to 400 initially. And then you just roast, and uh, you're going to use the baster. i got a baster here. There's my baster. There's my baster. And we'll baste away, probably add a little more water, and we'll roast it. It's not the traditional, um, not the most traditional way of roasting a turkey, because uh, technically roasting is dry. You don't actually add water. But, hey, my mother was a good cook, and I follow her follow her recipe. Also my grandmother's, because that's her recipe, too. And uh, that's it. And so this this will, this water will make a broth because all this stuffing will start oozing out. And it'll be and instead of having gravy, which is you know the flour and the giblets and the butter and you brown everything, blah blah blah. You know it just saves a step, eh? And uh, also I'm not a big flour and butter guy for stuff. And considering how much flour and butter is in the stuffing, like how much flour and butter do you really need? Eh? So I'm gonna pop this baby in the oven, and we'll come back in. Um, I guess a few hours and we'll see how my turkey's doing. And that should be going into part six. See you later.